Hey everyone, welcome back. So we talked about creating a more complex component in our last video, and now I'm gonna tell you about how you can actually take these instances and override them for your own use. Overrides allow you kind of to tweak and adapt these instances depending on the context of your designs. So you can change things like title, text, stroke, other properties while staying connected to the master component. So one thing you saw me do was you saw me actually create this uh, label, but hide different things like icons and descriptions and all that kind of stuff. Now, in this instance, what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually create an instance of this component. And if I go in here, I can do something like, what should we use here as a label? I think something like maybe date, that's totally fine. As you can tell, like we're overriding these properties just so we can use them. And it makes it really easy. So now that's an optional and we can even update the text here. So we can actually hide this if we want, but if we do want to use a placeholder, I know we talked about placeholders, people can still use them if they're kind of adhering to the basic rules. So we can just kind of, what else can we put here? If we wanted to have a placeholder, we can actually adjust that or you can actually just create another component. So select it. So, I mean, you can definitely create different instances of this. If you wanted to give like an icon or something like that, you can do that too. An example is if we go back to our original master component and go back to our assets, we can actually like throw an icon in here. Some people like using icons with in their inputs and we did go over that as well. And we can throw that in there. And what we're gonna do is hide it. And that should be reflected here. I should be able to grab it. Let's go to our input field. And there we go. We can even add like um, show and hide icons. If we wanted to, we can even grab different instances of the icon. So we have the input text there. Where's the, uh, the icon? Um, over here. So you can grab an instance over here. So you can use like, uh, what else should we use? Like we can use like a different icon if we want. I don't know if you want to use a warning sign, but like we can do a bunch of different things just by editing that instance. So you don't necessarily need to create a component for every single use case. You can just have a general component that has hidden layers possibly like I've done here and have other components in the background. Like I have on another page, I have a bunch of uh, iconic components and you can grab those and use them. So like I've done here as I've essentially just grabbed that check from another component. So I've checked, I have the instance. I can just like select that date range. I can hide this if I want. And there you go. That's such an easy way to override instances.